in the morning. I gotta get ready so we can drive to Denver. I got along 10 hours with these guys today. We'll see how it goes. So I'm gonna get ready, wash my face, and pack up my stuff. I'm gonna make bagels this morning. And we're gonna get going. Welcome to the vlog. Let that be light. Griffin's uneaten donut. I'm ready and we're gonna make some bagels for the morning. I got my Red Bulls because I'm driving first in the bagels and then I got more bagels. Okay, got all the bagels. Um, these are mine and the other one's my mom's. I have a huge snack pack right here of all the goodies that we are going to eat. And then cat's bowls I need to bring. Everything, the car is literally jam-packed, as you can see. And then you see a little head right there. Hopefully they'll be okay. I have a cage for them, but they're both in there. They're doing fine for now. They have their harnesses on too. We're gonna get going, it's already four. 410. I know we wanted to leave by 4, but that's okay. Then we have another car full of stuff. So it's going to be a long journey. I love you, Massey. I love you, Massey. Massey, I love you. Okay. Come here, boss. Okay, bye. Bye. We don't have a clicker. I've heard surprisingly less squawking than I was no, expecting so far. Funny. So, we're about to hit our drive at 4.15 in the morning. It's gonna be a fun one. Um, I'm gonna crack my Red Bull soon. You can barely see me, but we're about to get going and I'm so excited. So, I'll see you when we have something going on. stop because I had to go to the bathroom so bad I had drank like my whole Red Bull and I had to pee really bad so I was just getting super anxious and my back was hurting um, Griffin's driving now and we're probably gonna stop near the state line or something and then get gas somewhere in Vegas I'm not sure yet but it's around 8 o'clock almost I drove for almost like four hours and we have about four hours and 45 minutes left to go to Tilburn, uh, Richfield, Utah. The cats are doing so much better now. Like they're all relaxed. The beginning of the car ride, they like were meowing for a full hour and then they've been sleeping. And then I took one out when at that rest drop and he was just kind of anxious. So we're back on the road and whatever we do. And we're gonna listen to some comedy. I might watch a movie or something. Henderson Costco too. I actually have family that lives in Henderson. Um, 
So you're going the same line as your parents? Yeah. So we're just gonna get some gas right now. <laughs> Bingo traffic we're in in this two-lane thing two-lane highway um, We're gonna go get some food in Cedar Creek, Utah show them the babies. Um, so we got about I think it's an hour till we get there Oh, we got three hours till we get there and our time from Like when we left went up like of what like an hour and a half two hours two hours. It's so long We we're supposed to get there 120 now. It says 315. Yeah, so and we're still it's another Friday. stop. We're we'll probably expected. gonna be in there 4.30 or 5. Like, we'll probably not get in there 4.30ish. 4.30ish. I guess it's probably around dinner time. Here's the little babies. The pumpkins. The pumpkins. Let's not focusing on him. sandwiches and they got to go in their little tent and get outside of the car for a little bit so now we just have our hour and a half drive we'll be there probably around four and we get to relax before we have to go up get up tomorrow morning and do the next drive i left my camera in my car but we made it to our hotel i'm so tired and i'm probably gonna take a nap before we eat dinner um i got the cats in here Kind of warming up to it, we'll see, but it's only for the night. And then we'll wake up tomorrow and yeah, drive. Okay. We're about to go just to get some food. I kind of took a little bit of nap, but it didn't really work out. But there's literally just this restaurant across the street and it has um, some gluten-free stuff on their menu. So we're gonna go head over there and eat. It's about 5.30 in the morning. We're about to go head out and do our last six hours it's like six and a half and we're going to be in denver next so i'm super excited to see my apartment and get all the stuff out and relax well not really relax because we gotta unpack everything so we're gonna go it might be a little bit of stormy on this one because there's been some rain like summer storms but i'll definitely do an apartment tour like an empty one and then I'll do one later when it's like all finished and decorated and then we're gonna have to go to Costco to get some towels so we can shower. I showered last night because I just felt dirty. We gotta get the cats in the car and then we're ready to go. Mm -hmm.
the freeway and we realize that we probably need some toilet paper before we go into some the apartment. What? Toilet paper. You said toilet paper. I said toilet paper. Toilet? Why are you saying toilet? <laughs> toilet paper. There you go. <laughs> um, so we're just heading to Safeway right now. Grab paper towels and hand soap. Okay, so paper towels and hand soap we also need. And it's just up the street, so then we're gonna come back down and then clean, empty out the cars. And then that was our complete road trip. It rained a lot, not a lot, but. It rained the last two hours. Yeah, so it wasn't the that bad, but it was so pretty. I have those clips that you guys saw, but it was beautiful. Oh my gosh, we just got all of this stuff in. Like, some in that corner, all right here. There's just so much stuff. I have way too much, but we're gonna rest and unpack in a little bit. I was gonna do an empty apartment tour, so it might be like a partial empty apartment tour because it's just gonna have all this either stuff in it or my stuff will be partially in here. So I'm just gonna relax for now because so, I was so hot and it was crazy.